Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan and today we are answering the question, what's my gift? Stay right here, we'll get right into it. Hey, you're with me today. You've joined me and I'm answering the question, what's my gift? Recently I was asked this and it really just got me thinking, how can I help people discover their gift? I know it was even challenging for me. If you don't have a major gift, if you're not a major performer, a singer, a public speaker, if you don't play the piano, you might be thinking, I haven't discovered exactly what is my gift. You know, my brother growing up, um, Matthew, he could always play and sing and, and he was used that way and I thought, man, that would be the best gift to have. I wish I could do that. I don't even know if I have a gift. You know, my mom was very uh, good about seeing, there was five of us siblings and she could see different gifts in each one of us. And she said, Amy, you can walk in the room and change the atmosphere. And I thought, that's not a great gift. I want to play the piano. <laughs> but you know, now I, I get to travel and minister and walk into brand new churches. And I'm so glad I have the gift that I can connect with people quickly, that I, I can walk in a room and if everybody's sad, I can start talking about how good God is and change with going on in that room and you know and that was a little bit hard for me to discover it wasn't such an obvious gift now you might have asked yourself I don't really know what my gift is I've been a Christian for years and I haven't discovered what is my job on this team how do I bring value to what's going on how can I help the kingdom of God okay today we're gonna dive right in and, and I hope this helps you know uh, looking at trying to discover what your gifts are think about the things that you are interested in what is, uh, are you drawn to? What lights you up? Where is your passion? What gives you energy? Now, my husband was telling me, he said, now the things that really drain you, the things that you procrastinate that you don't want to do, okay, that's a great indicator to tell you, you are not gifted in that. <laughs> you know, just thinking about myself, you know, right now I need to organize an event. I know it's draining to me. I'm like, I need to get these people together. I need to get the meeting. I need a group started. I have a great big idea of doing the group. I just need the structure behind it. I, I'm drained. I'm, I'm lacking in that really deliberate skills of putting an event together. But we do these big events. I do uh, lunch with Amy, and now we're finally getting back on track. Just a side note, if you're free August 29th, you can come and join me in Lexington. But, you know, this lunch, I had the idea for it. I have the sermon for it. I have the message. But I need a team of people to come together to put it together for me. You know, Karen Jaggers is the structure. You know, she gets the games together. She um, gets the people uh, lined up and organized. You know, I have our Aunt Emily Claycomb that gets the food together and the, and the menu and, and puts a flair on the event. You know, I have our niece Jade that just makes a grand decorative style and there, there's Betty and Amanda and I've got the worship team and I've got all these players that come in line with us to make this event great. Why? Because I'm not a 10 out of 10 at every skill. <laughs> I'm not the organizer. I'm not the detailed person. You know, if you hand me a piece of paper, chances are I'm going to lose it before I get home. <laughs> but I've realized that and, and you don't have to be great at everything. You know, I've realized what I'm not great and has really illuminated, okay, what can she do? You know, I used to be so frustrated in ministry because I didn't know how to organize everything. But God's brought me people to our team to help us to, to make uh, things so much better. You, you can't play every position on a team, but God will bring people around and that team really needs your gift. Okay, so how are we going to discover it in you? Okay, think about what you don't want to do. You might say, Amy, I never want to stand up in front of somebody and speak. Okay, great. Knock that off the list. That's not your gift. You may be the person, you know, that I need in my life. I need the, the organizer and the planner and the one that pays attention to the details. And every gift is so important. Think about the Word of God. In Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, God is saying that you are His handiwork or His craftsmanship. One translation says that you're really His masterpiece. So He's made you deliberate, on purpose. Think about an artist. Every stroke, every part of that painting was on purpose to what the artist wanted. You're, you're to the detail of what God needed on His team right now. 
So if you're thinking along those lines, man, um, the, I'm a gift of God. He's made me on purpose for right now. Yeah. So open up your heart. I'm going to be praying that God really talks to you this week, shows you things that you lean towards, things that give you that energy, that, that they do not drain you, but really inspire you to do. Maybe you love to teach. When you start thinking about teaching, ooh, you just get so much energy. You get up late at night and you're thinking about it and you want to write these things down um, because the kingdom right now really needs needs you to be really bold in your talents. God needs you to show off, um, you know, your gift because you're part of this team. And when we're all functioning in this gift, in this talent team, man, we're making a grand impact for the Lord. Okay, so make this your prayer this week. Lord, show me that gift. I don't want to wonder anymore. And, and you might even bring people into your life. Many times, you know, my husband's shown me things that I couldn't see about myself because gifts and talents are, are come so naturally to you. You need someone else sometimes to see it because you might think, no, it's so easy. I get up and speak in front of people, no problem. But other people, they're so afraid to do that. But but you do it without a worry or a care. Or you can organize an event or clean a closet like that <laughs> where I'm overwhelmed and crying in the corner about it. You just do it. You see how to do it. That's your gift. So I'll, I'll ask the Lord to send you friends around you that really tell you and can and show you and to help you see exactly how God has gifted and talented you. We need you on our team to do your gift and the Holy Spirit there to help you to do it to the best of your ability. And that's how you'll stick with the plans he has for you. So glad you were with me today. You are talented and gifted of the Lord for right now. Thank you for sharing this. Your friends need to know that too. And we love it when you get the word out with us. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We have a brand new video for you next week. And remember Tuesday, we'll be talking about more about your strengths in the gifts. I can't wait to see you then at 10 a.m.